Well, I'm here with the stars of a wonderful new movie called Young at Heart. And three gentlemen who are very young at heart. So I'm going to ask you to introduce yourselves, and I want you to tell the people at BeliefNet what is your favorite of the songs that you have been singing lately. My name is Brock Lynch. I've been 13 years with Young at Heart Chorus, and our movie was made two years ago, so it's started out as a DVD and now as a movie which we're seeing theatrically in 35 millimeters. Um, my favorite song is called uh, Call Me Irresponsible, which he sings as a solo, <laughs> which is written by uh, Jimmy Van Heusen and uh, Anyway, Hendrix? No. But anyway, I like the song so much I learned it by heart. Did you? Yeah. And when they got me up to do another audition for Yuska for still a new show we're doing, I sang that. He was away that day. I sang it and the last half I tap danced. <laughs> and they liked that so much into our new show. Oh, every, wonderful. Every three years we do a new show. Uh huh. Okay, I'll let him speak. All right, and would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Len Fontaine. And uh, I've been kicking around for a good many years. I'm second oldest, I think. Our violinist is uh, probably a year older than I am. I'm 87. But uh, one of my favorite songs was uh, Call Me As You. Irresponsible. As you, irresponsible, as you said. And uh, what be before that was uh, The Road to Heaven. And, and because that's very emotional and uh, it strikes chords among the audience, you know. Mm -hmm. And you sing the Jimi Hendrix song. Yes. Which oh. Jimi Hendrix song is that? Uh, Purple Haze. <laughs> <laughs> and would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. I'm uh, John Lurario, and um, I think my latest song, I like a lot of the numbers in our chorus. My latest song that I like very much that I sang was She's Not There. Oh, that's a good one. And uh, that's one of my Zombies. Uh -huh. Zombies, right. Uh -huh. And uh, I've been with the chorus about 13 years or so now. And I really enjoy it. And it just, it just inspires us to do more singing as we go along, you know. What, so great. What's the biggest difference between the music of the era that you grew up in and the music that you're learning That's now? That's a good question, you know, because see, I'm 76 years old, mm -hmm. and I grew up in the uh, during the era of uh, Frank Sinatra, mm -hmm. Barry Carmel, all those singers, you know, Steve Gomez, Doris Day, and all those that you, you recall them with them. I love all that. Right. Yeah. And so uh, I wasn't really accustomed to rock and roll until I was heard it later, you know, mm -hmm. like Elvis, I've done an Elvis number with the cars, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Road to Heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All shook up. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, too. Uh -huh. And so Disappear. And, and Disappear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a lot of fun. By Brave and Humble. Now, in the movie, the song that gives the chorus the greatest difficulty is not a rock song, it's Yes We Can Can. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's a tough one. Well, that's by Alan Toussaint, who is a Canadian uh -huh. and a black gentleman. Uh -huh. And he made that as a tongue twister. Yes. And we incorporated it, Bob Sullivan incorporated it as a good challenge for us. <laughs> it was. In fact, it ends the movie. Yes, that's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. I know. It's yeah. very triumphant. Yeah. And they say it has 72 cans in it. I never <laughs> counted, but Dora Mara yes. counted them all. Yes, yeah. and you got them all right in the yeah. movie. Yeah, that's right. And what the, what have you learned uh, from participating in the chorus? Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I learned that uh, we may fumble with the first uh, two practices, but after that, we memorize our parts. And uh, it comes kind of natural. Yeah, another thing is that when we first hear these numbers, we think we say, what is that? I mean, we're going to do something like that? We can't believe that. It's, it's, it becomes a challenge. And once we do it and get into it, we get to enjoy it. That's yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> like, if know. I could summarize the movie Young at Heart, it was begun in March 
of 2005 as a challenge to us and what the director and producers from London told Bob Sillman was, how do you create a new song that you give them and bring it to the point where you can actually put, uh, sing it on stage and have people stand up and cheer? He said, that could be the premise of a movie. And that's how it happened. <laughs> so literally, at the beginning of the movie, Bob hands out five or six song sheets, always lyrics, never the notes. You don't ever see musical notes, the song sheets. And we start with the first one in the movie. You see people putting their hands <laughs> up their notes and so on. But as John said, after three or four rehearsals, we get to like it. And once we ever produce a show, a, a song on stage, then we really get to like it. <laughs> That's true. Well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure talking with you, and I hope everyone goes to see the movie. Can I add yeah. one thought? Sure. I heard you introduce yourself as the daughter of Newton Minow. Yes. And I remember he was in the field of media. That's right. And he was, in a way, in the entertainment business. Mm -hmm. And he has a famous quote that's known to everyone. And that's called a vast uh, wilderness. Wasteland. Wasteland. Waste 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 waste